Warm greetings from the High Ten. It is Everyday Shenanigans on this Wednesday, April 22nd, 2020. We'd like to bring you an article <sighs> pertaining to a death out of Ohio. And if you need verification for the story, log on to NBC News. Ohio man who disparaged lockdown measures on Facebook dies of coronavirus. He, his alleged posts have gone viral amid protests and debates about the loosening of social distancing measures across the country. Social media posts of an Ohio man who disparaged coronavirus lockdown measures are now circulating online after he died of COVID-19, the disease associated with coronavirus. Screenshots of Facebook posts calling social distancing measures bullshit have surfaced online just days after John W. McDaniel, 60, died of coronavirus on April 15th. One screenshot of a post dated March 13th included an accusation that the virus was a political ploy. If you're paranoid about getting sick, just don't go out. Another post allegedly said, it shouldn't keep those of us from living our lives. The madness has to stop. The posts have gone viral, even getting the attention of British broadcaster Piers Morgan. Let his death be a warning to everyone else who wants to be living our lives and ignore lockdowns. It may end your life, Morgan tweeted Tuesday. Okay. This is uh, from a John W. McDaniel on March 15, 546 p.m. If what I'm hearing is true, that DeWine has ordered all bars and restaurants to be closed, I say bullshit. He doesn't have that authority. If you are paranoid about getting sick, just don't go out. It, it shouldn't keep those of us from living our lives. The madness has to stop. That was a tweet by Mr. John McDaniel on the 15th. John W. McDaniel believed COVID-19 was a political ploy. He was angry at the governor for shutting down the state and preventing people from living their lives. NBC News was unable to find McDaniel's account, which may have been deleted and cannot independently verify the screenshots. McDaniel's family did not immediately respond to a request for comment from NBC News. McDaniel's was a lifelong resident of Marion, Ohio, and an avid fan of Ohio State's University, according to his obituary. His family described him as an entertaining storyteller who loved life and loved everything he knew with his whole heart. They would also like to remind to everyone, practicing social distancing to keep each other safe, the obituary said. Funny. The scrutiny of McDaniel's alleged posts have come after some in Ohio protested Governor Mike DeWine's social restrictions and amid debates around the reopening of businesses amid the pandemic. DeWine announced last week his intention to start opening Ohio back up with a tentative date to begin loosening restrictions on May 1st. Other governors in states such as South Carolina and Georgia have also announced the plans to lift restrictions, even allowing some retailers to open this week. Dr. Anthony Fauci, director of the National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, warned that a May 1st reopening might be too early. The White House top coron coronavirus expert said that limits on testing would make it difficult to prevent new infections. We have, we have to have something in place that is efficient and that we can rely on, and we're not there yet, Fauci told the Associated Press last week. And that said, news is NBC news. Well, I'm glad Fauci has said that because basically that's common sense if you're aware and lucid and care about living and surviving. But as you see this, Mr. John McDaniel took to social media as many people do to air his grievances against the COVID-19 virus and was upset with their governor about um, closing businesses. And now you see Mr. McDaniel John W. McDaniel, 60 years of age, of Ohio, is no longer living. He succumbed to COVID-19. So how about that? Raise all this hell about it being a political ploy. The Martians did it. The Russians did it. The Illuminati did it. It doesn't really exist. It's nothing. It's this. It's that. And now he's dead from the same thing he didn't believe in. The same thing he thought was a joke. The same thing that was a political ploy. The same thing that violated his rights. The same thing that kept him from living. Karma came home. Because now he's dead from COVID-19. 
And if some of you dodo birds don't understand that, then take a page out of the book of the five-year-old African-American child, girl child, who died recently in Detroit, Michigan of COVID-19. Her mother is a police officer and her father is a firefighter. And it has not been related. She had any underlying conditions, but the point still remains. A five-year-old is no longer alive due to COVID-19. And yet you have here a 60-year-old who should know better and have more sense and direction than a five-year-old. And yet he felt like it was a joke. It was a political ploy. And now he is dead by that same joke of a virus. Alongside so many more dead people. And I don't know what it will take for some of you to realize that COVID-19 is not a joke. And no matter how it started, no matter how it came to be in the United States, it is here. And I don't see it getting any better until one, we have a vaccination and more understanding of the virus itself, which requires testing and documentation. Lately, I've seen people still acting stupid, disrespectful to others, talking crazy to people. I understand many of us are stressed. Some of us are. Some of us are not. Some of you just damn ignorant. You were ignorant before COVID-19. So why should I expect you to be any different now? After the fact. Some people are argumentative, combative. You can't say anything to them. They got a smart damn attitude about everything. They know everything. And I realized that today, once again, that having a conversation with somebody, I should never have to explain myself on something I know about, something I'm experiencing, something I'm seeing, something I've heard with my own ears. And I realized I don't have this kind of time. And I ain't about to argue with nobody about a damn thing. And that's when I said to myself, this is how it was before Corona. Ignorance. People cannot listen to information. They can't dissect information. They can't adhere to information. That they always have to combat anything that is said. And even when it's in stone, they have to combat what has been said. They have to argue every point. And most people who know me by now know I don't argue with grown folks about nothing. If I've seen or heard something directly, I don't need to explain myself. And frankly, I don't need to be beside a dead person that died from COVID-19 to know that it exists and that it's here. So if you people want to continue to have such ignorant attitudes and dispositions about yourself, you knock yourself on out. But know that you keep on running around acting like you don't got no sense. You don't know how to talk. You don't know how to act. You don't know how to treat people. You're defiant. You're unruly. You got a smart mouth. Ignorant attitude, disposition. You're going to end up just like them dead folks in New York. Dead folks in Albany, Georgia. The new dead folks in South Dakota. And the mother states in the union. Some of you better check yourself. Because this is a real deal. Whether you want to go shop at Macy's, Abercrombie & Fitch, whatever your choice is. The corona don't care nothing about you. She don't care nothing about you going to shop, watch a football game, baseball game. You want to graduate from college. You understand what I'm saying? She don't care nothing about that. And I would say she's dancing alongside the devil in delight with the fools that think it's a joke, such as this Mr. John McDaniel. We're in sad times. And frankly, we were in sad times before COVID-19. COVID-19 just put a stamp on it and put it in right. Amen. Like, share, subscribe, drop your comments below. God bless you. Stay safe. Wash your hands. Please put all masks and gloves used in the appropriate receptacles. Stay safe, America, and God bless you. And thanks for listening. This is Everyday Shenanigans.